how's it going? This is Matt from snooscentral.org and snooztv.com. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today and enjoying some good snooze. I know I am. And this is the day that I thought I would never say this. You guys have seen my old Thunder Frosted video that I did, right? And how much I hated that snooze, right? Well, today my mind is changed on Thunder Frosted. I know. It must be the apocalypse, but it's true. Thunder just released a new Thunder Frosted Slim White Dry portion, and I like it. So, let's go ahead, let's take a look at the can, let's look at the portions, I'll tell you a little bit more about this really tasty snooze. So taking a look at the Thunder Slim White Dry Frosted portion can. So as you guys can tell right off the bat, it's a silver can. It looks completely different from the other cans you see behind this one. They drop the carbon fiber look, which I'm sort of bummed about because I really like that carbon fiber look. But, you know, I like the silver can design. It really sets it apart from all the other products in their line and it screams new. And I like that. Really nice, simple stylization on the can. And uh, it still screams business with that really cool cracked Thunder font there. And a really nice ice blue color, by the way. So, as you can see, it does sport a smaller catch lid. And uh, you could fit about three to four used portions until you have to go run to a trash can and empty them out. But that's okay when you're on the go. I prefer the larger size catch lids, but this will work just fine in a pinch. As you can see up top it says Thunder Slim White Dry Portion Frosted and around the side on the seal you're gonna get that again that nice blue light blue Thunder Slim White Dry Portion Extra Strong Frosted and a really cool blue ring on the bottom opposed to the top which they usually do with the uh, the other ones. Really nice can here, guys. I like the styling quite a bit. Now on the back, you're going to get your traditional Swedish warning label, your made and expiration date, as well as some other information down below. Let's go ahead and crack this open and take a look at the slim white dry portions. So, as you can see, they are very slim. And uh, they're a pretty even amount of tobacco in these portions. With a lot of Thunder portions, you'll see them uh, squeezed off to the side. Uh, this one is a little bit, but I'm talking mainly on the, uh, the original portions. You'll see a lot of those uh, squeezed off to the side with not a lot of tobacco evenly distributed. These are pretty nice on the other hand. There's quite a bit of tobacco in here, even though they are a slim format and a white dry portion. Uh, there, there's plenty of uh, tobacco enjoyment found in these small pouches or portions. Plenty, plenty of enjoyment out of these guys, that's for sure. The portions are very soft in the upper lip. Uh, there is a little bit of irritation because they are a, a dry portion, so I suggest drinking water with these. But other than that, they're very soft and comfortable in the upper lip, and they're just a nice portion. You're going to get about 22 in this can, and uh, you know, that's, that's awesome. That's really good. So V2, you guys did a fantastic job. On the portions all around and the uh, the amount you get in the can I really applaud you guys for that yeah so I can't be more happy with this so let's go ahead and pop one of these in and I'll tell you a little bit more about the flavor profile all right so you know how much I hated thunder frosted original portion you can reference my old video for that I like the flavor but the drip is what killed it for me. I gotta say, V2 Tobacco, you guys redeemed yourself on this stuff. I know everyone's tastes are different, and I tried my hardest to like Thunder Frosted Original, but it was not working for me, guys. And, um, yeah, I gotta say, I changed my mind on this. Thunder Frosted, um... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> slim white dry portion. This stuff is fantastic. I gotta get that right out of the way. This is good stuff. And I know there is tons of mint snooses out there. Why should you pick this up? Well, I'll tell you what. Thunder knows how to make a good mint spearmint snooze. They really do. Flavor profile on this, as soon as you pop it in, you're gonna get a nice cooling effect in your upper lip, which is, you know, traditional mint snooze. But the spearmint mixed with that mild tobacco in the background is what really sold me on this flavor. And it's good stuff. I can't stress that enough. It is good stuff. Flavor is going to last you anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. Because this is a white dry portion, it takes a little bit more time for the flavors to fully develop in your upper lip. But once they do, you're in mint heaven. And the drip, non-existent, which is a good thing to me, it makes it that much better. Nicotine strength, if you are jonesing for nicotine, you guys know you're in for a kick with Thunder. This is going to give you a nice, solid 1.5% nicotine hit. So if you're looking for something that's going to wake you up in the morning, get you going, and if you're a fan of strong portions in the morning, this will definitely do you in quite well. It is phenomenal stuff. Really good. The downside is, since it is a uh, white dry portion, I would highly suggest drinking a little bit more water with this because it will uh, dry out your upper lip. But, you know, that comes with the territory of a white dry portion. Other than that, pick up a couple cans of roll. You're not going to be disappointed with this. And uh, it takes, you know... It takes a lot to win me over for a snooze. If I like a snooze, I will tell you guys right up front, and I'll be super excited about it, Whoop! <laughs> as I am with this one, which I almost dropped it. Um, but to win me over from a snooze that I absolutely hated takes a lot. And I really think you guys, you, you did it. You really did. V2, you did it. So I'm not going to ramble on anymore. You guys already know what I think about this. So. If you guys want to check out, uh, you know, some of the articles my friend Larry Waters wrote on Snoo Central, head on over to snoocentral.org and our Facebook page and Instagram page to stay connected in all things snooze. If you guys want to pick up some snooze gear, head on over to snoozegear.com. We have a huge, vast selection of some awesome snooze gear over there. Uh, we just launched our new uh, Freedom to Snooze. Uh, gear. We have mugs, t-shirts, hats, and mouse pads of that stuff. So go ahead and check out that stuff. It's really cool. And uh, yeah. And until next time, enjoy good snooze. And if you like this, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for more, guys. See you on the next one.